Local 4 News begins right now with a breaking news alert. Wrongly released, a dangerous felon roaming the streets after a mix-up at the jail. Now police are on the hunt for him. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sandra Ali, and we start this breaking news story out of Oakland County at this hour. That's where that 24-year-old inmate was released Wednesday night. He is now nowhere to be found. Our guy Gordon is live in Pontiac right now. And guy, do police have any idea at all where he might be? They got an idea uh, right now. We got the U.S. Marshals, the Michigan Department of Corrections, State Police and the Oakland County Fugitive Apprehension Task Force all working on this, concentrating in Detroit, but specifically in the area of Seven Mile and Livernoy. That is where he was last seen. Now he was here in Oakland County serving time in Jackson, but here in Oakland County uh, to face charges in a concealed weapons case out of Oak Park. He had that court hearing and then he was to be sent back to Jackson. That did not happen. He's in Jackson. Take a look because he is serving a 15 year sentence uh, for armed robbery, assault with intent to murder, also a felony firearm uh, conviction that got him two years. He is considered dangerous. Do not approach him. So why isn't he back in Jackson? I asked the undersheriff Michael McCabe and he says simply human error. For whatever reason, we have a process in place. Two deputies in the booking area always review the file before anybody is released. We don't know what the breakdown is. There is an internal investigation ongoing as to what occurred. He shouldn't have been released. He should have been. The, the file says MDOC detainer right on it. Again, we have two people to check it so things like this don't happen. I don't know what happened. I can just tell you it's obviously it's human error. So this is who we are looking for, 25-year-old Johnny uh, Excuse, yeah, uh, excuse me, Johnny Rogers II. He's uh, 25 years old, actually. Uh, six foot, 187 pounds. Now, he's got some very distinctive tattoos on his right arm. Uh, one says, live for everything, die for nothing. The other one says, only the strong survive. He was last seen in blue jeans and a white T-shirt with Timberland boots. So somebody gave him uh, some clothing. But again, they're focusing the search in the area of Seven Mile and Livernoy. If you see him, 1-800-SPEAK-UP or 1-888-TURN-1-IN. We're live from the Oakland County Jail. I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4. Sandra, back to you. And, and Guy, I know initially there was some concern expressed about that delay in getting this information out. Uh, what do we know about that? Yeah, there was a delay, Sandra, but it was inadvertent. It was because they didn't know they'd made the mistake. He was released around 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock. They got a call from Johnny Rogers' mother saying, my son just showed up at the house here at Seven Mile in Livernoy. He's not supposed to be here. She was the one that blew the whistle because it was not a welcomed homecoming. Yeah, doesn't sound like it at all. All right, thank you so much, guys.